Hello everybody, I'm Janet Ellis here at the beautiful Music City Center Theater on stage with Paige and Mitch, and you have this amazing show, Mystique. Paige, first of all, where did you come from? I am originally from San Francisco. Uh, before I came out to Branson, I had been in Las Vegas for about 10 years. So I grew up, Bay Area, went to Vegas, and then randomly ended up in a town I didn't know where it was. <laughs> that probably sounds like a story that I want to get to in just a minute, but did you happen to know this guy before? I did not, but we actually grew up like 10 minutes away from each other. So we met out here, but we know everything about back home the same. It's kind of crazy. Parallel worlds, isn't it? And Mitch, how did you get in the entertainment and industry? Um, I was golfing and uh, I got a phone call while I was thinking I was on hole three. They asked me if I wanted to be in the show. I was like, all right, cool. Can I finish golfing? They said no. So I lied and said I was playing at a farther golf course so I could play a few more holes. And then I came in, rehearsed, and I was in the show later that night. But do you have a background in entertainment? Uh, I do in dancing. Not much in magic. I was always interested because, I mean, what kid isn't interested in magic? But not very good at it until I actually tried, I guess. Okay, and here's Paige who actually, as a young girl, you were very interested in magic. I really was. I was six. My grandma had bought me a magic kit and I was kind of like, when you're six, like, what? What do I do with this? And I really was super excited when I thought, oh my gosh, I can learn these magic spells and I can say these magic words and then <laughs> my sister will disappear. <laughs> and then I learned you had to read the directions and actually practice. So I was a little frustrated at first because I thought it would be a lot easier. But once I started, I, I couldn't stop. I've been a nerd my whole life. Uh, just for a second, uh, your grandmother must have been one cool grandma <laughs> to give you a magic act. She was. She's was definitely my number one supporter. Every time I would have something terrible to show her, I'd be like, watch this, it's gonna be good this time, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> but she never refused to watch. She made sure that she always supported everything I did, so that was great. So for Mystique, is it for one particular kind of audience or age of audience? Oh no, we wanna make sure everybody could be enjoying this. We know that, you know, from magic's entertaining for anyone, a little kid to 105, it doesn't matter. You're gonna want to see some sense of wonderment in your life. So we wanted to gear it toward everybody. We want them to all love magic. So Mitch, if you weren't actually growing up as a magician, do you still find it amazing some of the things that you all do? I wish I did. <laughs> uh, once you really get into it and start studying everything, then now we watch it more for how entertaining are they, how are they presenting it, rather than how they do it, because how they do it is, oh, okay, I, you know, I figured that one out in about 20 seconds of okay. watching it, so. And Paige, is there anything in your show that makes you a little leery, or maybe you think it's almost borderline dangerous? There definitely is. You want <laughs> to add danger, and he's afraid of everything. I, I make so her do all the dangerous he's things. He's like, Paige, you know what would be great is if all the danger included you, so. Yeah, I've had to put my life in risk and the training for that, like, I I was pretty terrified. There's straight jackets, so you have to learn how to escape from a straight jacket, and then I'm hanging upside down, and then I have a very short time limit to escape from the straight jacket and get out of the danger that is about to eat me alive, so... I was a little little paranoid for a while. <laughs> wow, I can hardly wait to see how this comes out. No kidding. And there aren't a whole lot of female uh, magicians, are there? There's really not. It's just something that females have never really gotten into. And I, I mean, I'm odd. I do magic and I'm obsessed with sports. So I kind of have some problem, I think. <laughs> She knows more about sports than I do. It's a little unnerving. She's a total chick. So in one word, describe this show, Mitch. Incredible. And what about you, Paige? Mystifying. Ah, <laughs> and it is right here in Branson. Let's invite everybody to come and see this fabulous show. I know they're going to have a great time. We are beyond excited to have everybody in Branson, everybody coming from Branson. We want you all to come and see the magic. So come see us at Music City Center right here in the heart of Branson. Come see us and enjoy Mitch and Paige, and in just a few minutes, they're gonna make me disappear. <laughs>